Senator Baldwin was here at uh, Gavel. She'll uh, recognize her next. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, Captain Ambrosi, uh, I really want to thank you for coming before the committee on this important topic. Um, I have uh, offered legislation to increase the level of education assistance available uh, for students who wish to become pilots. And I want to thank the Airline uh, Pilots Association for support of this uh, measure, uh, the Flight Education Access Act. Um, I, I certainly hope the committee will uh, include this legislation in our FAA bill as we consider how best to support a strong pilot workforce. Um, but as you well know, the upfront costs associated with becoming a pilot are high. And um, it, it, however, those who complete the education and training needed are able to access fulfilling and well-paid uh, uh, profession. Um, so I, I would love to have you to focus on this legislation um, in terms of how it might lower barriers for those who wish to become pilots. Absolutely, Senator, and thank you for your leadership on this issue. I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be here today if it was this expensive back when I did this, started this process over 30 years ago. Uh, it is expensive and we need other professions, other professional professions can, can access federal student loans. So we need to be able to do that in the aviation community. So we absolutely support that. And it will not only allow, it will allow more adverse workforce as well because it, everybody will have access to that funding. That's great. Um, and and in, with regard to that uh, diversity, um, uh, Ms. Von Mulen, uh, I understand, did you also serve on the Women in Aviation Advisory Board? Yes, Senator, yeah. I did. The, so the, the report released last year, um, you know, I pointed out uh, that we have a lot more we need to do. And one of the recommendations in the advisory board's report was to increase the level of education assistance for those who wish to become a pilot but may not have the resources needed um, for significant upfront costs associated with the education and training. Um, do you believe this uh, legislation, the Flight uh, Education Access Act, could lower uh, barriers for more women to become pilots? Senator, yes. Uh, the key barrier to entry for women and people in underrepresented groups is cost, so therefore easier access to loans. And as uh, Captain Ambrosi mentioned, uh, broader access to loans is critical to drawing uh, pilots to the workforce, but others to the workforce as well. Yeah, this may be uh, just a, an obvious question, but um, it, we've all talked about the uh, high costs associated with uh, the studies. I, I guess Dr. Ludi and Dr. Utash, do you want to detail some of those costs? What are we talking about? Is equipment? Uh, you know, why is it so expensive? What does that? Uh, what, what are the elements of that? Sure, happy to. And I'm. I'm very familiar with the cost because uh, as a pilot myself, but also my son just graduated from our four-year flight training program this August, which I just paid for. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really familiar with the cost. Um, and and um, as mentioned, cost was a factor that we talked about in the board report. It's a part of our recommendation. So we're excited to see action um, towards that recommendation from the board report. So the cost, you know, you know on average, one report says that students get about $9,000 a year in federal financial aid. So that maybe probably won't cover the cost, standard cost of, of college, you know, books, tuition. Um, when you add flight training onto that, you're looking at an additional cost of anywhere from about sixty to eighty thousand dollars on top of the college degree that you're paying for. Um, so, and that comes in the form of, you know, as you mentioned, the, the breakdown. Certainly, aircraft cost, um, instructor costs, and along those lines, you know, with aircraft is insurance and maintenance and you know all the work that goes behind it. Um, so it's, as you mentioned, um, it's, it's significant additional cost. It's a barrier to entry and we absolutely have to expand financial aid for those in flight training if we want to enhance the workforce pool and also bring in more women in aviation. Dr. Utesh, do you have anything you might want to add to that? Thank you, Senator. I would just add to that. I agree with everything Dr. Luti just said. I would just add to that. In a two-year program, which is what ours is, uh, that cost for um, that pilot program with flight is about in the mid-80,000. And again, that's a barrier for entry. And it's just hard to find braided 
funding to be able to overcome those costs. The other side of it, it's extremely expensive to administrate. Uh, when we talk about an aviation maintenance program or a pilot program, those are high dollar costs to your educational institutions that offer those programs from a standpoint of the faculty costs, the insurance, the equipment, uh, and, and all the things that go into the infrastructure and buildings to house those programs. Thank you.